figure out what I'm going to say really quick. Yeah, I can cut to any part to start videoing it then. Alright, ready? It's already videoing. Big ting. I came to this country with little expectation. I've seen Braveheart the movie, and that's about all I know about this country, aside from the little things I've learned in history class. From camp, I knew that it was full of lovely people uh, who love their country and have national pride. So when I came, I took a 12-hour bus ride from London to Glasgow, and when I got in, I immediately saw things that live to the Glasgow expectations. Um, I saw a guy peeing in a bus station, and I met lovely people who were extremely kind right off the bat. When I first got here, um, I couldn't find Zach, and a 19-year-old kid offered to hotspot me and wait with me until I found my friends. And I think that the first 20 minutes of me being in Glasgow explained what my whole entire trip was. Um, coming over here, to me, meant f freedom and I think that's what I got. I got to walk around a city that was safe and might not have the best reputation, but it's full of love and people that are full of love. Regardless of if you grew up in Glasgow or Scotland in general, I think like the people that come to this country have a unified kindness. Um, as far as Glasgow goes, um, Going around and seeing it, I think I almost got ran over by taxis and cars uh, more than ten times because I was simply looking at the gorgeous architecture and the gorgeous infrastructure that Glasgow has and provides. Um, in America, we just don't have things like that. The flat I'm staying in is older than my country, and I think that kind of speaks for itself. Um, I went to Edinburgh, and I went to Loch, Loch Lomond. I went to Edinburgh, and I went to Loch Lomond, um, and Balloch. We went to St. Andrews, and I didn't make it to the Highlands, but one day I plan on, on doing that. But everything this country provides is, is joyous, in my opinion. And it might be rainy all the time, and <laughs> it might be dreary, um, but the people are the exact opposite. Um. Thanks. Is that good? Then, like, if you just want to like stop speaking, you can and just cut it. No, I know, but I think I should add something. Oh no, yeah, go for it. Totally. And the thing that why I like traveling is because it's like a dream. You wake up and you're in a new place every day, and much like a dream, you can't plan it and you don't expect. And you might try to plan it and you might try to put things in and you might try to dream about things. But regardless of what happens, it's always different and it's not a preset circumstance. And so I think being in Glasgow was one of the most lovely dreams I've ever had. And me leaving is like waking up from a wonderful deep sleep. And I'm not ready for it. And but you have to accept it, and thank you. <laughs> nice.